Hello YouTube and welcome, it's December, the winter is here, although the snow is still missing, but at least the temperatures outside are reflecting the season, they are dropping down and we all know that with the lower temperatures come bigger problems for our car batteries. And speaking about car batteries, I want to present you one handy little device I've been using the last couple of years this ultimate speed car battery tester. The device is really simple and really cheap and to make it even cheaper ultimate speed decided not to give its own power source. To operate it you need to connect it to your car battery. If your car battery is dead the device won't wake up. It's equipped with two Kelvin clamps which are utilizing the four wire method for measuring the internal resistance of the battery. This is the screen you get after connecting the device to your battery you can choose between 6 volts a motorcycle battery, 12 volts a car battery or 24 volts a truck battery. Next we have a cranking test, charging test, blah blah blah. Those are stuff I will show you later. Let's return to the car battery test mode where we need to select the type of the battery we are testing and we can choose between regular fluid, AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel or EFB. The battery I'm testing is a regular fluted lead acid battery. Now we need to select the battery test standard and we have a variety of them to choose from CCA, CA, BCI, MCA, SI and so on. Basically you have to select what's written on your battery. On mine it's written 825 amps of CCA. There's also a 700 amps of EN but I've decided to go with the CCA standard, pressing OK and the test is initiated. So what information is the device giving us? A good battery, state of health 100%, state of charge again 100. The measured current which the battery can provide is 974 amps. The measured voltage, the standard and the measured internal resistance is 3 milliohms. Below all of that we have a QR code which we can scan and later view absolutely the same results. Pressing the back button and the result is saved so we can later review it. What else can I show you? Cranking and charging tests. Those need to be performed on the car when the engine is running. Waveform. Here we can monitor the voltage waveform. Of course, in my current situation it's a flat line. QR code menu. The device is storing QR codes for all saved test results so you can later review them on your smartphone. Nothing special here. And lastly the setup menu where the user can change the language, buzzer, brightness. I'm not sure about the exact algorithm on which the device calculates the battery capacity but I couldn't not notice that during test the device is doing a slight discharge of the battery. Let me show you. 0.6 amps. Most likely it's calculating the battery capacity based on that current, the voltage drop and God knows what else. It's time for some field tests. The device is connected to my car battery which is begging for replacement for some time now. Some mornings it's really difficult for it to start my car. But let's see what the device will show us. A regular fluid. The standard is EN and the battery is rated 680 amps. It's cold outside but the temperature is above 0 degrees. And yes, the device is also suggesting me to replace the battery, the state of health is only 39%, the state of charge 58, the measured current is 429 amps, 
the voltage is fine but the internal resistance is a little bit high 6.23 milli ohms I think it's time to do the cranking test 12 volts let's start the engine And you can see that the cranking voltage is really low, 9.21 volts, something that I know really damn well. The cranking duration, 930 milliseconds. After the cranking test, it's time for the charging test. It's slightly longer, but all you have to do is follow the on-screen instructions. Let's start the engine. And the result is again something that I know damn well when the alternator is loaded the voltage drops really low 13.11 volts let's continue with two regular lead acid batteries the brand is Caterpillar and they are rated 825 amps CCA the first one is perfectly fine but the second is in a really bad condition. Starting with Fluke. The internal resistance is 3.08 milliohms at about 13 volts. Let's see what ultimate speed will show. Regular fluted CCA 825. According to ultimate speed, the CCA current the battery can provide is 999 amps. The voltage is the same. The internal resistance is a bit lower than what Fluke is showing, but I would say it's pretty close. Let's continue with the second battery, which is in a really bad condition. 381 milliohms. You can see 
the voltage looks perfectly fine but the internal resistance is terrible let's see what ultimate speed will show us if we somehow manage to start it yeah after charging the state of health is 0% the measured current 25 amps the voltage there is a huge difference here between ultimate speed and fluke and a huge difference in the internal resistance according to ultimate speed 117 millions versus 381 adding a third battery with even worse parameters 1880 milliohms the voltage again looks pretty fine let's see what ultimate speed will show us charging again the state of health is 0% the measured current 27 amps huge difference in the measured voltage and huge difference in the measured internal resistance I have a theory about the huge difference in the measured voltage that's because ultimate speed is not a self-powered device it's relying on the measured battery so it can power its screen and its internal electronics and that's why we are getting such voltage drop after doing those tests the only conclusion I can think of is that if the battery is relatively fine ultimate speed will measure its internal resistance as good as a professional battery analyzer however if the battery is in a bad condition ultimate speed will measure its internal resistance quite inaccurate but the number will be big enough for you to understand that the battery is practically dead well fellas i think that's all i can show you about this handy little device as you saw it can be really useful and probably the most important aspect of it is that it's really cheap so much for me bye and see you soon